will you pay the price? Huh. That's... Did you get that? Uh, no, I got... Your body tingles. <laughs> Semicolon. Breathing is difficult. Period. Where do you run? Question mark. Huh. Yeah. My you body see, tingles. You see, you chose four, and that guy, he was actually coming after you. All right. Okay. My body you tingles. Breathing is difficult. Where do I run? <laughs> <laughs> will you pay the price? One, whatever it takes. Two, I will not yield. Three, I take what I need. I got number I can run to my room, the woods, a public place. I wait for her. <laughs> well, you're already in the woods. That uh, My body is tingling and breathing is difficult. I'm not just lost. <laughs> I know. <laughs> my body <laughs> is tingling, Matthew. <laughs> my spider senses. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. So are you going to go to a public place or something? Um, I guess. It depends on if I'm naked or not. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> well, the, my body tingles. I don't know. It's okay. Just, that, that's weird. The, when when you think of your body, it, or it just it, automatically I think of my body without clothing. It's just my body. That's all. Hmm. And I... Uh, it's definitely not I wait for her or the woods. That doesn't neither of those make any sense to me. My body tingles and breathing is difficult. Yeah. I do not run, I wait for her. <laughs> what? <sighs> hmm. Will you pay the price? My room or a public place. I'll run to a public place. Okay. Nice and public there. Will I pay the price? No, I will not yield. Okay, click in. I will not yield. How would I you would describe the origin of your unhappiness? I got that too. Well, option one, the square root of negative one. Imaginary! The origin of your unha unhappiness is imaginary. Uh-huh. Or, the origin of your unhappiness is an option two, a monkey trying to break... A root? Oh. No, he, no, no, he's on a branch. He's sitting on, on a branch. branch. Okay. I thought he was on the ground trying to tear a root out of the ground or something. No. He's he's just got his tail wrapped around it. So the origin of your yeah. unhappiness is described as a monkey in a tree. Uh-huh. <laughs> or... That's very sad. <laughs> is the origin of your unhappiness a balloon floating, floating away? Yeah, that's what I think about <laughs> A balloon floating off into the sky. You can't get it down because it's too high. Or option four, scissors. So if you ran, if you ran with scissors when you were a kid and poked your eye out, yeah, this would four. be the source of definitely your own happiness. Yeah, this is, yeah. <laughs> if you had a lot of birthday parties where you just lost your balloon every single time, every year, this would be your source yeah. of unhappiness. For me, I'm I I did have an incident with a with a balloon once. Yeah, but that was kid. an example of your ingenuity. And, yeah, yeah, uh, but brilliant. I was not happy. But you weren't necessarily sad. Oh, I was either, very because, sad because I wanted that balloon. I because wanted your that parents balloon. praised you about it. They were well, like, "Oh my God, balloon. you are ingenious, Matthew. What mm -hmm. a brilliant child you are." <laughs> Uh, well, I'm going given. with the balloon. Praise what are you going with? Huh? What? Where? What is the origin of your unhappiness? I don't even. Is it a monkey in a tree? Or is it imaginary? You know, actually, it, oddly enough, I do think imaginary is a good answer here. Oddly enough, because I don't think of a. Uh, my unhappiness as being the result of any particular event. It's just something that my mind created. Now you're being too literal. But anyways, okay. So you choose an imaginary. Well, I mean, well, it, it, that is, I guess you could say, true for everyone. But in a sense, my answer is different because, quite honestly, most people don't focus on that. They okay. They wouldn't think of... Uh, your un your own personal unhappiness is being it technically that is true for everyone, 
ha unhappiness would be the result of your own mind. So it would be, Im in a sense, imaginary. But they think of it as the result of something. Yeah. Okay, and well... It, I'm not sure if it is or not. I I really go with imaginary here. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going with balloon. Click it. <laughs> that evil balloon. Okay. Describe the difference between what they see and who you are. Did I, you get that? No. I I got what is the cause of failure. What is the cause of failure? Hmm. Okay. Well, describe the difference between what they see and who you are. Option one. A mural of, I don't know, angels or demons or something. <laughs> I can't tell. It's not big enough. Uh, this site has cool looking backgrounds. <laughs> the shading and stuff. Yeah. That's, that's cool. Okay, option two, an airplane. Option three, a conch shell. Option three, a slice of cake. On option four, a slice of cake. My question is, what is the cause of failure? Number one, uh, an obviously mutated ant that's <laughs> got two extra, or no, an extra abdomen set and two extra legs. Or, no, four extra legs. One, yeah, yeah, because they're supposed to have six legs, so this one has ten legs. Uh, that's obviously a mutated ant. Uh... Two, it would be a bird overlooking a beach, just standing on the beach looking. And three is a, what are those little things that blow in the wind when you hold them? Those little four twisty things? things? Yeah, those little handheld ones, though, that just blow in the wind for no reason. They're like these little party things. Pinwheels. Pinwheels, yeah. It's this little pinwheel that looks like crap. Uh, it, it's very simply drawn, let's say that. It's just got four triangles that represent the different yeah. pointy thingies. And uh, then there's a, the number four. Option four is a fish with a very fat uh, bottom part hanging down. Okay. Got a very fat belly and throat. For me, I think the first one is definitely for people who party a lot. Second one, maybe for adventurous people. Not sure about three. Maybe for people who like to listen. And then four is a piece of cake. What is the cause of failure for me? The heck, I don't associate any of these things with cause of failure, except maybe the mutation. <laughs> But, I mean, come on. Because that poor ant, man, that poor ant's got four extra legs and an extra ab... Uh, well, I don't... Is that an abdomen? The middle thing. What's the middle part of an ant? I don't remember. In the three... Uh, I can't remember. I don't remember if it was it's called not the abdomen. Ant. Abdomen's the back. Yeah. yeah. I thought so. Whatever that thing is, that middle section, it's got an extra one. <laughs> poor little ant. Uh... I guess that would be the cause of failure for me because I don't think a pinwheel has anything to do with error. I mean, or failure. Uh, I mean, a pinwheel can just blow in the wind all it freaking wants to, and it's it's great. It's not failing at it. It's doing its thing. Yep. Uh, the fish. The fish is the fish. It's a very happy looking fish. It's just you know serene in the ocean, being a fish. Great. Uh. And then the bird is looking over the beach. It's it's having a fun time with that. Yep. So it's the ant, the poor ant. Okay, well, the, the difference between what they see and who you are, I'm thinking the conch shell, since I don't talk much usually. So there's a great difference between you and the conch shell. No, the difference between what they see and who I am is the conch shell. So the conch shell is the difference. It is not oh. one of the things you subtract. But yeah, okay, so I'm going to see, I picked it. <laughs> uh, you're learning arithmetic here. Yes. Okay, which do you need right now? What do you get? What do we fear most about you? Hmm. 
Okay, option one, release from pain. Option two, human company. Option three, answers. Option three, option four, forgiveness. What do you get? I, option one is scissors. Option two, I don't even know what this machine, this little, this little tool is. Oh wait! Oh yeah, it's one of those uh, little holding things that you can uh, that that you uh, oh what is it that you like can have on a workbench or something, and you uh, just you can tighten a grip on something. Oh, uh, so hold it still, so that you can. Uh, I know do what you're talking about. I uh, yeah, I'm trying to. I don't know what this is called, but it 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 tightens the grip on something. Holds yeah. it still. Huh. Okay. And then third option is a wheelbarrow. <laughs> what Which do we do fear you... most about me? Which do I need right now? I need answers. I always need answers. I don't really need release from pain. Uh, not really the right, uh, str uh, want human company much. <laughs> Forgiveness? Mm, not really. <laughs> What well, forgiveness? I haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, All right. What do they fear most about me? It's worded differently. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if they fear my scissors <laughs> or my my use of scissors. <laughs> Those scissors, man. And my precision. I can cut things exactly. Do, do they fear my ability to use scissors to cut things? Definitely. Do they fear my ability to hold things still in place <laughs> to keep them from moving? <laughs> uh, or do they fear my ability to move large quantities of, of substance? Dirt. Of substance. It could be water. You can put water in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> sure, if you leave it in the rain. <laughs> Well, still, you can you can do that. I mean, okay. Just saying, you, large quantities of some substance. My ability to you to move things, versus my ability to cut and my ability to keep things steady. Yep. Okay, so what are you choosing? Unless they want to break me off the hinges, then then I can't really do anything. Uh, <laughs> I am a useless object to them. Uh. Hmm. I don't think people are afraid of my ability to cut things. Hey, you can become Freddy. Or Edward Scissorhands. Oh, oh yeah, I was like, which Freddy? Oh, Freddy, that Freddy, the Friday the 13th Freddy. I mean, no, that that was that was Jason. Uh the Nightmare, Nightmare on Elm Street. On Elm Street yeah. Nightmare on Elm Street, yeah. Uh, my ability to move large amounts of things. That is a very dangerous capability. <laughs> I don't know if... Does anybody fear that? The FBI is watching you. Does anybody fear this? Does anybody fear the ability to move things? I don't know if that... I think it would be my ability to hold things steady that would be the most feared. <laughs> that doesn't make s none of this makes sense. <laughs> okay. Well, you choose I mean, that. I, I just don't have the ability to cut things, Matthew. I don't like cutting things. Okay. So, so it would have to be the holding steady just through process of elimination. <laughs> okay. Sure. Okay. Well then, clicking. Mm-hmm. Is the truth worth hating yourself for? Did you get that? What do you get? Yeah, that's what I got. Okay. Option one, a sneaking mouse. Mm hmm Option two, a, a harp. Option three, a crawling baby. Well, you didn't crawl, so this doesn't even... That doesn't apply to me, yeah. Answer three uh, cannot... I'm terrible with instruments. I'd, I've never even tried playing them. Uh... Is sneaking the truth mouse worth and... hating yourself for? A sneaky mouse. A harp. Or a baby. What? Uh, this is like... It can't be yes or no. <laughs> or maybe. <laughs> it, 
The answers are Sneaky Mouse, Harp, Crawling <laughs> Baby. <laughs> is the truth worth hating yourself for? Um, Crawling Baby. Yes, that's my answer. Final answer. I'd say the truth yeah. is worth uh -oh. hating yourself for, but I don't even know what to click for this. I mean, what is yes? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> that that's that's the that is the fundamental question here. It is not is the truth worth hating yourself for. It is what represents yes out of these three pictures to you, <laughs> to me. Is it well, the, the mouse has mouse? a square around him. No, it's a rectangle. A square is a rectangle. Yeah, <laughs> but it is not a square. <laughs> it is it is a rectangle that is that is not a square. I was uh, half right then. No. <laughs> you were 100% wrong. <laughs> Your logic is infallible. Uh, indeed. Uh, the harp, I don't know if... I guess the harp is shaped almost like a... No, it, it's like a Y. <laughs> so it could be yes. God, that is a stretch. <laughs> yeah. I <know. laughs> I'm the one who came up with it, man. I know. That is a, that is a stretch. And the baby... Baby rhymes with maybe. <laughs> hmm. I, I don't know. Uh, uh, the sneaking mouse. You know, I guess I could be a sneaking mouse. But I could hate myself for it. Does that mean yes? Yes. <laughs> okay. For me. Hmm. For me, the sneaking mouse. Or, or God, it's hard to choose between the harp and sneaking mouse. The baby has nothing to do with this. The poor, the poor baby. I mean, I don't. How does that have anything to do with the truth? Oh, although you could say that since the the one and the two, where the numbers are, those are at the bottom, so that's obviously no. And then the three is at the top, so that's yes. The three is out. It stands out from the other options. I don't know. So I therefore, think it's it obviously all, the right option. I think they all stand. The very fact that the first one has a rectangle around it, not a square, uh, that makes yeah. it stand out. And it, it's a giant sneaking mouse in a harp that doesn't really stand out ever. But. Okay, well, I'm going with the baby because it stands out. All right, I'm going with the sneaking mouse because he's sneaking. <laughs> okay, clicking. Is it inside? I got that one too. A lantern? No. An ice pick? Or a mannequin? How did you identify this as an ice pick in particular? Because it looks like an ice pick. That's very. I've, I don't. I've never seen a picture of an ice pick in my life ever. Period. So the very fact that you were able to identify this as an ice pick has me admiring you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I don't even Are know you able to identify like. the other two? Uh, yeah. Okay. It's not like those are much less common. I mean, I suppose the mannequin's more common than the, either of the other two, but... I can identify ice and a pick. Uh, pick from Minecraft, maybe, but... Uh, I, I know what a pickaxe okay, looks like. Okay. Well, anyways, yeah, this looks like a nice pick. Well, the only reason why I know is because I've seen a lot of documentaries about Everest and things like that. Mm, mm, mm. So it looks like a nice pick. I've never actually seen one in real life or anything. Okay. Hmm. Is it inside? Lanterns are often kept inside when non-use, although they aren't used inside. So I don't think that... I, I don't think about the lantern. Well, the fire is inside the lantern. Yeah, but the lantern itself is in the picture. Well, it's inside the the square. This looks like a square. Yeah, but yeah, but it, I I think it means inside a house. <laughs> Where's where, how do you get a house? In when well inside makes you think inside. It's what? inside the Earth's inside. atmosphere. Yeah, <laughs> but it's not inside. <laughs> Sure, sure. Okay. Ice picks, pretty much the I same love thing. The it's ice used outside. Picture. I really want to pick the ice pick picture just because the picture looks awesome. I well, mean, that you can stab so someone with it and then it will be inside them. Yeah, weapons are definitely awesome. 
Uh, you can, or you could just impale them in the head with the. Uh, or you pick could impale part. them in the chest or anything. Yeah, but in the head would be a more definite kill and less painful for them. Well, it depends on what you want, I guess. Why, if you wanted to the kill way someone to kill mercifully, why would best... you use an ice pick? Well, because it's the weapon you had on hand. <laughs> okay, I whatever. Mean, you, it's not like you always have a really good choice. Hmm. Do I wish to kill someone with the book? The spoon or the ice pick? Hmm. Okay, well, anyways, option three, mannequin. Those are usually used inside stores. So I, I initially thought mannequin. That's, yeah. That's what first came to my mind. But I, I like the ice pick. It's just so cool looking. Well, I like the fire inside the lantern still. I'm going to pick the uh, mannequin. I don't even know what... This question seems very... Yeah, I'm going with the lantern. I'm going to go with the mannequin, even though I like the ice pick. First, you remember... Yes, I, this is the same question I got. We got another lantern. We also got a house. Very badly drawn, with a triangle and window. The, a, a beetle? With a lot of legs. Those, those legs look off. Just the ones slightly. on the side just don't look natural. And a sinking ship from the looks of it. With looks, lots of sails. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just in some rough water, so it's just sort of like tip tilting over a little bit. Maybe it's not sinking. Maybe it's about to rebound the other direction. Mm. And then it'll sink. <laughs> I see. It, it's about, it looks like it's about to capsize. Though. Well, out of all of these, the first thing I remembered was the lantern, because it was in the previous question. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if that's... A, a, an effective way to answer this question, though. Yeah. What do you remember first? Well, I don't remember being on a ship and capsizing. <laughs> I don't remember a triangle window in my house, in <laughs> any of my houses. Hmm. I don't remember using a lantern. I remember beetles. I remember catching beetles and playing with beetles. But did those beetles have legs like that coming out the sides? No, but that's a minor issue. Hey, this it's is an just anatomical a mutated issue. beetle, that's all. A very creepy mutated beetle. Hmm. Okay, well, so you going to go with the beetle? Yeah, I'll go with the beetle. Okay, well, I'm going with the lantern, because, as I said earlier, first thing I remembered. Alone! Oh, God. Did you get this question? Yes. Alone! <laughs> Oh God! Alone. Um. One um, is the loneliest number. Oh, okay. Then obviously we have to choose one. <laughs> you just you just proved it right there. Two. That logic is, is invalid. One, but Two. Something, what? something, something. Twice as fun, or so. I don't remember what. This is just a song. I don't remember. Okay. Well, we can either go with one, or we can choose three because you should always choose C when you don't know what to choose. I would choose two because two is my favorite number. Uh, but <laughs> I, I I can guess why. Yeah, you can guess. Should, do you want me to? Yeah. Rusty Wallace. Yeah, well that's partly it. It's also because it rhymes with blue. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And because it's just such a smooth, awesome number. When you think about writing it. I mean, I'm I'm writing out two and with my mouse cursor right now. Think about writing two. It just feels so smooth and awesome, writing out two. Okay. One is just a line. It's so boring. Unless well, you want to add well, that I'm, I'm thinking thing. of going with C, a.k.a. option three. I want to go with two, just because I think this question might actually be expecting you to, fa to pick... E it, honestly, it, it expects the majority to pick one, just because alone, one. One is in the freaking word, so most people would pick one, but there, there are people who would also just pick their favorite number or whatever. It's just instinctive almost. So two. Okay. Well, almost no one would choose four though. Poor four left alone. Well, four Therefore, is four is obviously the correct answer. Well, four is two squared. Yeah, I'm thinking. Oh my four. god, you just picked. That's actually the best answer. Four, because no one would ever pick four. So four is the right answer. Yep, and because 
obviously I, since no I, one I picks four, not. that makes it lonely. So I should not have answered two. Oh, you answered already? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'm picking four. So screw you. Darn, four was the right answer. <laughs> Okay. There was actually a correct answer for that question. Yes. Ridiculously, yes. hilariously, oddly enough. Uh, okay. Um, mother. That's what I got. Mother. Is it an ant, a crab, or a cat? A sleeping cat. My mother ant. is not an ant. A crab or a sleeping cat. Well, ants can get a lot of work done. Not alone. Not a single ant. Mm. A single ant is worth Crabs this. are sturdy and often... And Crabs are not sturdy. You can break one very easily. Fine. Um, how about <laughs> they often have a hard exterior, but inside they can be very soft? Yeah, that's and not that's my mother. <laughs> uh, my mother is not a sundir. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. Okay, Wrong. cat. Sleeping. Um, cat would be the best answer in this case. That's so generic. Yeah, I know. That's the thing. I'm thinking the ant. The ant doesn't even make sense. <laughs> hey. <laughs> it can't do anything on its own. It's a worthless little ant. Can't do a single dang thing w unless it has a bunch of other ants. And that's not my mom. Or maybe it's guessing what you are, or maybe it, it's trying to find out what you are to your mother. Hmm. Well, I'm definitely not a crab. Uh, I'm, I'm not a cat. I'm not an ant. Are you sure you're not a worker ant? Uh, I'm quite sure I'm not a worker ant. <laughs> this poor little ant. I feel so bad for it. Sympathy for the ant. That no one loves. No one loves the ant. But, uh... I have to pick the cat just because the other two are just weird. <laughs> hmm. Arthropods! What? Arthropods. Did you already answer? No, no. No, no! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? I thought it was no, question 20. Crabs and ants are arthropods. Yes? Yeah, that, that's all I was saying. That's huh. why it's not them, because it doesn't okay. make sense for your mother to be an arthropod. Unless uh, you are an arthropod yourself. Then why are you taking this test? You have bigger problems. <laughs> you do? Yes, you have bigger issues at hand <laughs> than this personality test or whatever. So you're this personality test is small and insignificant. And it has no bearing on anything in reality. I answered. It faded out. Analyzing results. Okay, well, I'm clicking. Oh. Analyzing results. Oh, preliminary results. You are a troubled individual with unique abilities. <laughs> what did you get? I am an autonomous striver with hidden strength. What? <laughs> Okay. I got good answers. I knew I won. What well, what about yours? Where where are you on the curve? Um your scores place you within the top 20% of the country. Oh, that's me too. Yeah, I, I'm like I'm after the third devi standard deviation. What about you? Me too. Yeah. Uh, okay, I think you just put that everyone there to make everyone feel good. <laughs> okay. Your responses indicate a, All right, I'm going to read mine. My responses indicate a desire to overcome a persistent feeling of emptiness or dissatisfaction. I believe life should have more to offer, and fear that I have somehow not achieved everything I deserve. I desire for a legitimate respect and success. My, my, sorry, my desire for a legitimate respect and success has led to increasing anxiety. Consequently, you no longer exhibit some of the friendliness and openness for which you were once known. Darn, that makes me feel sad. Okay. Similarly, I fear being overly influenced by by others. I am often fiercely independent, which sometimes leads to being resistant to the opinions of friends and relatives, even to the point of denying what I fear may actually be true. Hmm. 
This behavior stems from my wish to be regarded as an authority. It leads me to react strongly when I suspect I might be wrong. At times I feel that too much is being asked of me, and that I am not properly recognized for my efforts. This situation, be it fueled by others' jealousy or negligence, adds to the stress in my life. And finally, luckily... My determination is, is unyielding. Unlike others facing similar adversity, I forge ahead despite the challenges. Through strength or will or simple endurance, I am unique in my ability to withstand the troubles of a complicated life. Hmm. Okay, well, my turn. <laughs> yeah, have fun. Hmm. Okay. Unlike most people, you have a strong, at times destructive, independent streak. Routine tasks are frustrating and often impossible to complete unless you've complete, created them for yourself. That is a perfect paragraph. That describe. is a perfect paragraph. Wow. Okay. At the moment, you are under substantial stress and anxiety. This is caused by the unshakable feeling that you're not fully in control of your own life. Um, not so sure about that one. <laughs> An existing relationship in your life, either romantic or business related, is currently unsatisfactory. You're presently <laughs> contemplating the possibility of escape. This can make you irritable or uncomfortable at times, or even around the people you love. Um, besides the absence of a romantic relationship, I, uh, it's not really unsatisfactory. I don't know, man. I think you should be pretty unsatisfied. Man, your business transactions haven't been going so well. Yes, okay. Also However, takeovers have not worked out when the way you, you are in control, you're capable and even excited to make difficult decisions. This occasionally <laughs> leaves you feeling isolated or alone. Oh. You are willing to make this trade-off if it means being in charge of your own life. The darker emotions inside you, those underlying urges that all humans have, are very strong. And yet, you have the ability to harness that energy to achieve your goals. This makes you unique young among our testing population. You can focus your energy, both positive and negative. Lol. Alright. That, 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 okay. Hmm. This is very wish-washy. Anyways. Well, of course it is. They're trying to fit a lot of people, so they just put in a lot of words that'll describe some part of everyone. Yeah. That's how these things are. Congratulations! Are Your score places you within the top 20% of the country. The next test will refine these results for increased accuracy. Proceed to the next test. Yeah. Come back next time. We'll do that. Yeah.